Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful day. It has been absolutely boiling here, so I have been out in the sun and I've been to a barbecue and now I'm filming for you guys. Um, so today's video um, is basically going to be like my makeup brush collection. Um, this was actually a requested video by one of my lovely subscribers and um, basically I did like a my makeup collection like video so it just shows you like a little bit of a tour of my makeup collection at my dressing table and I said let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you'd like to see and yeah it was requested that I show you my brush collection so that's what I'm gonna do so just before I get into the video I just want to say welcome back if you have already joined me and if you are new then welcome I hope you have a wonderful time viewing my video and um, yeah it'd be great if you could like and subscribe because that means loads and my 200 subscriber vi um, giveaway video is still up so if you want to check that out then I will link that in the comments section down below you can see my hair's all tied up look um, but yeah so let's get started um, so I have 10 sets of brushes that I've like narrowed down into like correct sets and I've got like a set which is just a random collection of brushes so the first set I'm gonna do is this one these brushes are actually completely new they're Moda ones by um, Royal and Langnickel so um, you get the small oval one that just looks like this um, you get the um, slightly larger one that looks like this the big face brush which I will probably use more often than um, the rest of them but I just love them they're so soft as well and I haven't used them yet purely because I'm still using up well using up my old ones and then you get this one um, so you get four in this set and I just think they're gorgeous they're all like mermaidy, which I love um, but yeah so the reason I haven't used these yet is because I've got other oval ones and I don't want to get them dirty um, so the next set is also a Royal and Langnickel one and um, there's loads of brushes here so I'll just go through them with you um, so I think this was like 20 pounds for this set um, but you get I'll just put these down I'll do them one by one you get the mini flat smudger brush which just looks like this I have this one is dirty sorry um, then you get the um, large concealer brush which looks like this I've actually been using this one to pack on like a certain type of eyeshadow at the minute so I haven't used it for concealer this one is a stippler brush and yeah I just really really like it look at them they're so pretty and they do clean up really well actually um, which is nice um, there's an angled brow brush which just looks like this I love the colors of these ones they're my favorite. Um, you get the crease brush which is this one so it's a bit bigger and it's nice um, you get the line and smudger brush which is this one um, the foundation brush which is this one and um, this one I have yet to use um, just because I tend to use my oval ones but I'm gonna start using more brushes like that and sort of see which one I prefer uh, the next one is a small shader brush um, another smudger brush which is this one um, this one is completely brand new I haven't used this one yet it's actually still got the plastic casing on it and this one is the large powder brush um, so yeah it's just really fluffy they're really soft actually and not expensive which is nice um, the angle shader brush which just looks like that and then the last one in this set is the contour brush which just looks like this and I love these ones they're my favorite and um, so the next set I've got is actually a set of Primark brushes and um, so none of these have names on so you get like a little eyebrow brush a foundation brush um, this is a bit big for eyeshadow but I have been using it just to sort of smudge out certain ones um this one i actually tend to use for my um bronzer so that's that one 
And then this one I tend to use for like blush and things like that. So they're quite a nice set. There's just not enough sort of variety for eyes in it for me, but it's a good set, so you can't knock it, can you? The next set is actually an oval set again, and these I bought on eBay. They weren't expensive, um, but I just found oval brushes to be so much easier to apply my foundation. Um, so you get this one. Um, again, these ones are dirty because I use these ones all the time. This one is quite disgusting, actually. I need to clean it. Look, it's actually hard because um, I haven't used this one for a, a little while. But the oval ones are a little bit more difficult to clean. So, yeah, they just look like that. They're like rainbowy. Um, you get like a little rounded one, a slightly larger rounded one. And this one I've actually been using for to apply my foundation because I've got it in a pot at the minute because um I wanted to get it all out of the tube so I've been using that. This one is like a line, it's a really thin line. Um so that's quite good if you want to tidy up around your brows. This one's slightly larger than the previous one and again slightly larger than the previous one. And then this one I've just been using under my eyes as like a concealer one. Um but they're quite good. And they weren't expensive, like I said. I think they were like a tenner, maybe, something like that. Um, the next set is actually, apart from these two, let me remove those. This set is actually a nail set. Um, like a nail brush art set thing. Um, but I do use it if I'm trying to do something precise on my eyes. So we've got a really, really tiny one which just looks like that and um, that one is actually for nails it's got like a pointed bit on it so obviously I don't use that on my face a really really tiny one there a little fan brush um, an angled brush which if I can perfect my um, eyeliner I'll probably use this quite a bit and um, there's another um, angled one with oh and the ends come off these were really really cheap they were literally only from Poundland so if the end pops off it doesn't surprise me at all and um, there's another little tiny one there these are just sort of what I use for like pre precision and then a really really long one and um, so obviously if you want to do like streaks or something that's probably quite a good one to use um, but yes yeah, so that's that little set um, these two think I picked up on eBay or maybe in somewhere like um oh, I'm trying to think of the shop now I can't remember off the top of my head but this one I tend to use just to separate out my eyelashes if I've got a particularly clumpy mascara I know it's like more for your brows and obviously if I've got brow gel or something on I will probably go over the top with that um this one I tend to use for highlights sometimes, um, but yeah, so that's that little set. Uh, the next set, and I love this set, I've had this set, this was probably the first set I bought when I started properly getting into makeup, and this set is the Eco Tools Naturals one, so, um, and I did actually have to buy these separately, they didn't come in a set together, um, so I think you got like three in a set, and then like two in a set some on their own. So this one is a pointed concealer brush and what's quite nice about it is it tells you on the end just the same as the Royal and Langnickel ones. Um, this one is a small eye shading brush which is really handy actually because this is super tiny. Um, a blush brush which my sister once used for foundation. I almost cried. Um, a fine liner brush which I haven't used for liner because I'm too at it. A foundation brush which I have used which is why it's a bit grubby um, a large eye shading brush these aren't particularly fluffy though they're, they're soft and they're nice but you can't really get like a rounded motion and then this one is a tapered blending brush but I tend to use this for like powder just to pat over the top but yeah that's probably the first set I bought um, so the next set of brushes are actually from Wilkinson's um, some haven't been used, some have been, but yes, yeah, so this is the set. These were all 
individual so I had to buy all of these separately which I don't particularly like because then I feel it's more expensive um, but you get these don't have names on but they do have a really nice te texture uh, so the first brush is like an angled liner one again haven't used it um, the next one is sort of like an angled maybe like contour brush um, but again I haven't used that one or I suppose it could be a foundation brush you could, I suppose you can use them for whatever really this one is my favorite it's huge and I actually use this one for um, powder or just to sort of get rid of like fallout from my shadows I tend to use it for that a lot um, this one is double ended um, so it's got a spoolie at one end and then at the other end it's got like a um, eyebrow angled out eyebrow brush which is nice um, the next one is another angled end and then you get like a fluffy end so obviously you can use the angled one for whatever you'd like and then you can use this end for sort of like eyeshadow I suppose um, this one is like a buffing brush that's what it looks like um, yep never used this one either and this one is a stippling brush and this one is also completely brand new I haven't used it I have I have way too many brushes for my own good look it's all like what is this anyway <laughs> um, so the next set of brushes oh I've dropped one are actually real techniques ones and I have a story about these so after I'd obviously bought the Eco Tools ones, I watched a lot of sort of YouTube videos and things like that. And everyone was raving on about these Real Techniques brushes. And I thought, oh, well, it's just like a any other brush, isn't it? You know. Um, and at the time, I didn't have loads of money. So I thought, you know, I'll have a look on eBay. And they had loads. And I mean loads. Um... But obviously I'd watched enough videos to know they probably weren't going to be the Real Techniques ones and they were probably going to be knockoffs, which they are. They came in a set with Real Techniques on. They've even got Real Techniques by Sam and Nick on them. But they're... I mean, they do a fantastic job and these are probably my second favourite brushes. Um, but I know they're not the real ones so at some point I do want to get myself a full set of the Real Techniques ones but they are a little bit dear so at the moment I won't be doing that um, but the nice thing about these is they do have the names on the bottom as well I don't know if you can see that um, so this one is a buffing brush just looks like this I tend to use it for um, blush sometimes or highlight or even sort of um, what is it? What's the word? Bronzer. Uh, so the next one is uh, a contour brush, which is this one. I tend to use it for highlight as opposed to contour. Um, there's the detailer brush, which I haven't used. And then the pointed foundation brush, which I also haven't used because it's so tiny. <laughs> Um, and like I said, I tend to use the the oval ones. Um, so that was one set. And the next set is this pinky one. Um, so you get a setting brush, which I think is quite small for a setting br brush. I don't know why. A sculpting brush. And this one I do tend to use if I'm doing bronzer in sort of contour places. And then you get a fan brush, which is this one. Um, so yeah, they they all came together. I think I paid about fifteen pound for the whole lot, which is why I knew they weren't the real thing. Um, and then I got just the eye, uh, the eye, the eye brushes. Um, so you get the base shadow brush, and I do use these all the time for my eyeshadow. So they are good brushes, even though they're not the real ones. This is the deluxe crease brush. Um, the brow brush, um, accent brush, which is tiny, and then what's even tinier is the fine liner brush. There we go. I don't know if you can see how small it is. 
there you go. Um, so yeah, that's my real technique set. And when I was in Superdrug the other day and I did my uh, my Superdrug haul, I picked up an official Real Techniques by Sam and Nick brush. And this is the Expert Base Brush. And you can use this to like um, put in your foundation and proper put it into your skin. But if you look at the colour on that, and the texture of the brush is so much softer, um, I just, you can tell the difference. Like. I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be as pale as it is um, and they're essentially pretty much similar brushes but these bow out at the bottom whereas these don't but like I said even though they're not the real deal they are still good brushes so if you want like a cheaper alternative but you would like to have something with the name on it then check out eBay because you can find them pretty much anywhere um, this one is another one that I picked up from I don't know, home bargains or somewhere like that. And I use this to like powder my face. Um, yeah, it's just a big, big one. It's quite small, handbag size. And yeah, I've just had it for ages. Uh, the next one is another oval brush. I tend to use this one on my face a lot. Um, and this is a PS Pro one, so it's actually by Primark. Um, but yeah, I love an oval brush. Um, the next one... It's also from Primark, but it's actually like a sponge, so it's like a beauty blender brush for your foundation. I hate this brush with the passion, so I don't tend to use that. Um, so now I'm into sort of like my collection of one-off brushes or random ones that I've got here and there. Uh, the next one which I've been using for my foundation recently um, is the Revolution, um, it's like a pro foundation stippling brush. And yeah, I just use it to like buff the foundation into my skin. It's quite handy, handbag size again. Um, so the next ones, oh hang on, I've got one by Avon. Um, so it's got like a an end for your um, your eyeshadow, and then it's got like a smudging bit. But it's really hard, so I don't actually tend to reach for this at all. I do need to sort out my my brushes, I think. Um, so the last three brushes I actually got in my beauty boxes um, and it's given me the chance to try different brushes. So the first one is a Beauty UK one. Um, can you see it? And I tend to use this for um, blush or a little bit of highlight um, or just to sort of smooth out the eyeshadow across my eyes. And the next two are Spectrum ones. And I actually would love to get a set of Spectrum brushes. They're so expensive that I don't feel like I can justify them at this moment. Um, so this one is the Spectrum A04. And I love this brush. I use it for highlight. And I just run it across there and I love it. It is my favourite brush ever. And I wish I could get my hands on a set. Um, but yeah, so this is the Spectrum A04, which I love. And then this one, which I tend to use for my eyeshadow all the time, is the Spectrum B04, which is this one. And I love it. It is by far my favourite. So yeah, one day I want to get a whole set of Spectrum brushes, and I want to get a set of Real Techniques brushes. But yeah, so that is my brush collection. I do think I need to go through my brushes and only keep the ones I'm using, but then I feel like I'd be getting rid of part of a set, which would upset me. So yeah, I have a lot of brushes. And I've been eyeing up the limited edition Makeup Revolution ones, the ones that have got like a pink bit and a white bit, and or is it pink and purple? Either way, Lady Mauer, I hope I pronounced that right, she just got them in a Makeup Revolution haul, um, and I am in love. I want them. So I have been eyeing them up. And if you want to check out her channel and see the brushes I'm talking about, I will link her channel in the description bit down below. You should definitely go and check her out. She's lovely. Um, but yeah, so that is my brush collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what brushes do you use? You know, what brushes do you swear by? Ones that you couldn't live without? You know, let me know in the comment section down below, because... I'd love to hear sort of what other people are using 
find it kind of interesting. So yeah, let me know and yeah, take care everyone and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for joining me.